constant trouble. That thing was in the shop two or three times a year. Why I don't you just mix your own fuel? Well, I could. I don't really like it, though. It, I didn't like the way it rode, and it was always giving me trouble, but I don't know. I want a four-wheel. Well, you got to do something oh, with that. She's oh, she's going in! <laughs> safety announcement if you love getting out here and catching fish and enjoying this beautiful scenery you know if you truly love this sport you won't do this to this if you pack it in take it with you nobody wants to pick up your blankets your cigarette butts your beer cans simple concept bring it in you use it you take it with you anyways fish quest out Any catfish trip would not be complete without some liquid energy to keep us awake during the early hours. I don't have that one I got the other night. Oh my God. I Next up, we need to harvest some bait. Some common catfish baits I've seen used over the years are worms, chicken livers, stink baits, hot dogs dipped in Kool-Aid, or even bars of soap cut into cubes. Where legal, my favorite bait is fresh cut carp or sucker. Catfish setups can be complicated or as basic as what I have here. The setup I find myself using 9 times out of 10 is an octopus hook or a circle hook beneath a barrel swivel with an egg sinker above it. Because we are fishing next to a loud irrigation pump and are sitting in the cab of the truck most of the night, we are using these inexpensive LED motion activated rod tip lights. The lights slowly flash red when nothing is biting. When a fish is biting, the lights quickly flash green. Oh no. I think so. No, he's good, he's out, he's out. I think he's out, maybe not. Dude, he tangled up all of our poles, dude. Oh, crap. No, I got him. <laughs> That's a better cat, dude. Gosh. Sorry. <laughs> you want this? No, you're gonna do Damn that. Oh, no, no. He's trying to hang me up. Go run down. I, I'm, all, I'm all tangled up. There he comes. You got him? Yep. Dude, your, your bell was open, man. I, I know. He's they like pull, they push down on that's okay. I'd rather have him take the line. Are you sure he's coming? He's coming. We're about to be the rat nest of all rat nests, dude. It's gonna be cool. Okay, he's getting close. He's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in. Is that a good cat? Yeah, yeah, it's a better cat, man. Feels like a good cat at least. Oh, 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 we still got some fight in him. Out here in the rain, heck yeah. Yo, here we go, you ready? Oh yeah. Do that. Oh yeah, Trev. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's your 10 pounder, dude. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that dude. big girl. Look at that belly on that, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo. Scale is zeroed out. Coming in at 11, 11 to 12 pound-ish. Down the foot. 27. Big old female, 11 and a half to 12 pound fish. Does not get better than that. For Northern Utah, you cannot be more happy with a fish like that. 
battle scarred, beautiful yellow sides, potentially full of eggs. Doesn't get better than that. This is what we are here for. This soft swim bait was wrapped all up inside of that uh, big female we just caught. It just goes to show you that these big channels, they're not only scavengers, but they're also predatory fish. She'd probably hit that at one point. It had it right around on her. So, yeah, crazy. It does not get better than this for fishing. We're literally sitting here in the cab, watching the lights out here flash red. When they flash green, it's go time. Hands down, does not get better than this. Oceanfront property, kicking back, getting dark, good company. We're dry out of the rain. Very few times you get stuff like this. Anyways, hey, just caught these two fish. I'm over here like, it's a monster. It's two fish tied together somehow. No idea how it happened. Let's find out. Let's look. This fish is dead. No, he's not. This fish is dead. He's moving. Look. We wrapped up two fish really bad. Wow. This guy's got his eyeball popped out. Dude, what happened, man? Who got hooked? I'm so confused right now. Here's, here's, here's the hook right here. Where's the hook to his eyeball? Oh, that, that fish looked like he was dead. Uh, he's just hogtied. It's a monster. No, there's two fish tied together somehow. Not sure how this happened. Anyways, we just caught two fish on my pole tied together. How it happened, I don't know. Look at this, he's blind. Baby fish, mommy fish. Two fish side by side. I'm like, I'm reeling in a monster. It's just two fish. You ready to throw it back in? Yeah, toss her. Where she goes. Whoop. Solid release. So pretty. Yellow. See you later, bud. He's outie. <laughs> He's outie. Hey, can you go tinkle? Well, when we get over here, you're going to go tinkle anyways. So we don't have an accident. Heard that one before, huh? Oh, there you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, baby. That's the size of this one. Whoa, dude, look at that. Yeah, just bring him in. If, let him take some drag if you want. Here we go. Decent cat on this one. Fighting me. He's not giving me any. Dude, that's a big fish. <laughs> oh, oh he's blind that pig. Your pole is okay. He's hooked up. Look at that thing. Big male, see the forehead on it? Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Damn. 
careful with the line. Want me to grab Come on, Trav, you got him, dude. Come on, Trav. Oh, oh, come on, you got it, Trav. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Look at that. Reagan, your daddy's catfish. Dude, that is a, I told you I seen something swimming. Oh. That black thing, dude. That's a good fish. Oh, dude, that's got some weight to it, man. He's 10 pounds plus. Let's so return our okay, let's get some weight on this. Here we go. Eight, eight point one five. Woo! Rego, what did he got? Look at that thing! Whoa! Look at that thing! That's okay. It's just it's bigger than you are, right? It's a big male. Forehead's like a nipple. Yeah. Two twenty-eight inches. This is what we came here for, big male. Nice 27 inch fish, solid eight pound fish. Doesn't get better than that. Anyways, here we go. How we do it, boys. Just want to thank all you guys for tuning in and watching us. It's been a great time. I could chase channel catfish all year long and never get sick of it. That's the bittersweet part about this channel is, you know, we get into these species, we're having fun, but there's a long ways to go. We got a lot of distance to cover with a thousand plus species of fish. And it's with a sad heart that we're gonna move on from channel catfish and head on to a different species here in the valley. But I, again, just wanna thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed our species number four, channel catfish. Thanks for watching. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go and smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. You know, that little bit goes a long ways to helping our videos get out there and get seen. Catching a catfish right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.